Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here. And today we see the third type of this encoder, which is let's say the octal to binary encoder. All right. You know what octal is and you know what binary is. In octal we have a base 8, which means we have numbers from 0 to 7, all right? And for 7 we need a minimum 3 bits, all right? So which means we need 3 bits uh, for the output, all right? Let's say this is the input. So for the output we will use 3 bits, let's say B3, B2 and B1 are the representations. So we have numbers from 0 to uh, 7 in this system, alright? Okay, and the uh, equivalent would be what? Their binary equivalent is this and you know how is this. If you don't know, so you need to watch the previous videos, alright? Now this is the octal to binary encoder, this is the octal to binary encoder, all right. Now in the encoder we will have what? I missed this part in the previous lecture also, but let me show you here. That in this we have, uh, we'll have eight input lines, okay. We have how many input lines? From zero to seven, of course. So we have from zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, so these are eight input lines, which means eight cross, and the and the output we have three bits, so which means we have one, two, and three. So we have three. This is an eight cross three encoder. All right. This is what we require for for this uh, octal to binary conversion. All right. Now, what would be the inside circuitry required? So we we see from what we see from this table. We we see where they are high. All right. Uh, so, uh, so let's say I write it over here, first for B3 let's say, so B3 is high for 4, 5, 6 and 7, so it would be 4 or with 5 or with 6 or with 7. B2 we have what? We have a 2, 3, 6 and 7, so we have a 2, 3, 6 and 7. And finally B1, so we have uh, 1, 3, 5 and 7, 1, 3, 5 and 7, alright? Now you know how to draw it, okay? So let's say uh, this is a zero, one, all right? Then you have a two and three, okay? And then we have four and five, let's say with the red color. And six and seven with the green color, which is not mostly visible, but you need colors to understand it more better way. All right, so I hope this is visible. All right. Now you require what? You require OR gates. All right. So you have what? Uh, which color? Let's say the black. So this is, let's say, your most significant bit, which is B3, then you have B2, and finally the least significant bit, B1. Alright, now B3 is what? It's 4 or with 5 and 6 and 7, which means the red and the green will come here, which is 4, 5 and 6 and 7, alright? Now for 2, you have 2, 3, 6 and 7, so 6 and 7 again with the green, 6 and 7 are here, and you have 2 and 3 with the blue. So this is let's say 3 and 2 is here. And finally B1 is 1, 3, 5 and 7, so 1 is with the black color, 3 with the blue, 5 with the red, and seven with the green so b1 got all my four colors all right so that's about it okay that's about the octal to binary encoder that's the circuitry which we have inside this box all right and that's all about today see you in the next lecture very soon inshallah till then take care of yourself and everyone around you goodbye